Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord, and today's video is going to be talking about one of the best things that happened last night at PSX, and that is of course the reveal of Crash Bandicoot The Insane Trilogy. Now, as well as that being announced, they also had a lot of other crazy news coming up at PSX last night, and I will be doing a lot of videos on them, so please make sure that you keep an eye on my channel, as I will have a lot of videos in the next couple of days. But let us talk about Crash Bandicoot. So, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that Crash Bandicoot is one of the most loved gaming franchises out of most of the platforming genres. I mean, you have Mario, you have Sonic, you have Spyro, hey, let's see, Jack and Dexter, you also had Ratchet and Clank, Oddworld, Earthworm Jim, and I think out of all of those names that I've just thrown out there, as much as I love every one of them because they have made me the gamer I am today, I've got to say, I love Crash Bandicoot more than all of them. Crash Bandicoot is one of the best games ever made. So earlier this year at E3, they actually announced that there was going to be some sort of Crash Bandicoot game coming in 2016. I mean, they had the silhouette, everyone went crazy, including me, I was watching it live, and it was just really, really hype. Everything about it was hype, hype, hype. And they said that they would release more information at PSX, and since then, people have been speculating that it's going to be a complete reboot or just a remaster of the first game. And to my surprise, when I actually watched the trailer last night, it was all three of the original Crash Bandicoot games. They have Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortez Strikes Back, and Crash Bandicoot Warped. And they are the best in the franchise. I mean, I kind of wish they would remake Crash Bash and Crash Team Racing. I would love if they did that, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have the original free platforming games here, and that is enough to be excited about. So, what do we actually know about Crash Bandicoot The Insane Trilogy? Well, first off, it is most likely, definitely, a PlayStation exclusive. So, of course, Crash Bandicoot is one of the biggest names in the gaming franchise. I mean, everybody who is around about my age or older knows and have played Crash Bandicoot. And the fact that you can only get it on the PlayStation console is a huge selling point for PlayStation. People will go out and buy a PlayStation console just to play this game. And I know that sounds very sad, but I actually did the same. Once they released the information that they were going to be making a Crash Bandicoot game in 2017, I went out about, about a week later after the E3 conference, and I actually bought a very, very cheap PlayStation for around about £100, which is a very big bargain in my eyes. And uh, yeah, so, you know, there will be people like me who buy the console just to get a hands-on this HD remaster of one of their favorite games. Now, you might have noticed that I said it most likely will be a PlayStation exclusive. That is because this game is actually developed by Activision, not Naughty Dog. Now, of course, Naughty Dog is actually owned by PlayStation. I'm pretty sure that is right, yes. But Activision is kind of not, but they do have a exclusivity deal with them. Of course, you know about Call of Duty. Now, if you have Call of Duty on the PlayStation, you get the map packs around about 30 days before the Xbox One, which is a good deal. So, when we look at exclusivity, we can also look at Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Now, of course, that game is developed by Microsoft. Now, after around about a year of it being on the Xbox One console, they decided to then release it on the PlayStation 4. In my opinion, that is a very, very smart marketing tool. I mean, people will buy the console just to play that game, and then around about a year later, after the hype has died down, they will then release it on the other console to kind of maximize their revenue. You know, they'll boost sales back up once they have kind of died down. And I would not be surprised if Sony kind of did this. And yeah, that's kind of probably me just hoping for the best. I mean, I will buy it on my PlayStation, but I also want to play it on my Xbox One. So here's to hoping that, you know, PlayStation don't keep it as a console exclusive forever. Now, the other information I've gathered from this release is that PlayStation are kind of going down the platforming route once more. I mean, they just released 
Ratchet and Clank, which was a huge success. Now they're releasing Crash Bandicoot as a remaster, they also made a Ratchet and Clank movie which was just insane, and you can bet your ass, if Crash Bandicoot sells very well on the PlayStation console, they will most likely think about other ways to take this character, such as maybe a movie, or even remastering some of the other games, such as Crash Bash and Crash Team Racing, which I really hope they do. There's not enough like crazy racing games out there these days, there really isn't. I kinda hope that they will. Other than that information, we kinda know everything about the game, such as, you know, it's remastered. That's pretty much all we have to talk about. It's basically the same game you played like 20 years ago now. So there's not really much to talk about in that sense. But yeah, I'm just kinda happy that they are bringing out a Crash Bandicoot game again. It's been so many years since I've actually sat down and played all three of them. And you can bet your ass because of this remaster, I will definitely do that. Anyway guys, what do you think about this news about Crash Bandicoot? Are you excited to get your hands on this game? And if it is a console exclusive, will you go out and buy a PlayStation just to play it? Anyway guys, I hope you have an awesome week. Make sure that you check out my channel for more PSX news. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya.